Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? Welcome back guys. My name is Oshi Kroos and I'm here for you guys to play some more games. Today guys, diving back into the Call of Cthulhu. Uh, we are starting off here with Chapter 2 where we just met Captain, or we are just I coming up to meet Charles Captain Hawkins Fitzroy. Cargo um, They're on the table next to you. Alright, thank you. Truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When That's, you're done, come join me on the deck. On the table next to us. Okay, these are the shipment manifests. Okay, so if you guys are just kind of so, catching up here. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. <laughs> uh, you guys are just kind of picking up here. We just started off playing Call of Cthulhu earlier on today. Um, this man and Fitzroy could be twins. Well, it says it's a fucking photograph of Captain Fitzroy. Oh, this guy's got a wooden leg, though. Oh, uh, okay. So he's got like a brother or something or, or uh, a what family a member or maybe souvenir. a dad or something. What a macabre suit. Oh, it's the wooden leg. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, we're playing this game, Call of Cthulhu. So, if you guys are kind of just tuning in, um, Call of Cthulhu is an RPG horror-esque game set in the Lovecraftian universe. Uh, we are an investigator named Edward Pierce, and our job is to kind of figure out what happened to the Learning of Medicine, Volume 1. Ooh. Yeah, oh, that's so cool. We actually learned. <laughs> that's great. Okay, so um, one of the things this game does is it's a role-playing game. So uh, so we have this uh, this really cool opportunity to level up our character and introduce These new stats and sheets. These are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. Mm -hmm. There's partial blacked out information. That was literally it. Okay, he's gone. Uh, so yeah, we played an investigator who's investigating the murder or the death or the suspicious death of a family here on this dark water From island. here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale, even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you uh, who you lays down everything. the law around here. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. Uh, we just want to know. Your documents are unreadable. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? They could. Um, I know that Charles Hawkins. So yeah, was we're we're investigating this family this family. Owners. This woman and the apparently burns down her house with her husband and her kid in it. Indeed, and we um, specialized in whaling. So we're kind of no whaling through this. Now our character woke up with like a nightmare vision. Of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Mm -hmm. Although these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. Maybe With a occult oh. kind. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Yeah, we're, and he was looking for this Warehouse 36. Look, it's right there. The oh. warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Oh, so it's like right there. Understood. Is it the big, big, you big one? You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Lie, I have no idea. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that that's obviously why I'm looking for the warehouse. This warehouse. So, um, I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. So, anyways, this game has been kind of slow to start. I feel like. Uh, however, I feel like also using our abilities, like uh, like lying or whatever. Oh, these guys worked it out. Okay, that's good. These guys were fighting. Yo. Hey, I'm in your way. What are you going to do about it? Ah. Yeah. Where are you going to go? Ah. <laughs> um. Yeesh. Handsome fella. So, yeah, the game has been kind of slow to start. It's been very linear for us so far. We haven't had an opportunity you saw what to... Happened uh, to those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. 
Ooh. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. <laughs> She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. That's good. I shall take my leave. Um, yeah, so the game has been really linear and hasn't given us a lot of free reign. However, now it seems like we're able to do a little bit more exploration, a little bit more gameplay. Um, said hidden items once you're in close range. I wonder if that... What? Maybe I need more like hidden investigation skill. Cause there's a there's a skill for that, right? If we look in our journal. Uh, we go to our character. Yeah, spot hidden stuff. Shoot. Oh, we have two checkpoints. Let's go. See if that helps us at all. Yes. Validate. Let's inspect. Oh, it's a freaking ladder, you guys. It was just the ladder the whole time. I just had to press W on it. Well, I just, I don't know if I wasted two skill points, but. I could use this old winch to lift the grating, but it's been completely taken to bits. There must be some spare parts amid all this clutter. Okay. Apparently we're interested in going down there. Okay, so I guess we're going to go back down. So yeah, this is like the first like little bit of free gameplay we've had the opportunity to play. And again, so far it's just kind of to like recap my... Uh... A ratchet device. Exactly okay. what I need. Um, yeah, so just to kind of like recap some of my thoughts on the game here so A far. Whale for um this what place is, is full of junk. It's just junk. Um, so so far, I feel like the gameplay looks good. the The game looks good. It feels good, and it plays good. Um, I enjoy what we're this doing with it so will be far. Perfect for the winch. However, I was a little, to be honest, just to be honest and fair with you guys, um, I was a little underwhelmed with the graphic display. Um, okay, we'll put the ratchet device on. Put the handle on. Oh, we're still missing something else, I guess. Can't turn the crank yet. Turn the crank. So yeah, that's kind of like my understanding of the game. I like the sound. I like the voice acting. I like you know. It I like all like that stuff. Looks like there's a way in under this grate. Who wants to go in there, man? It looks disgusting. Looks like freaking Mountain Dew water. No one wants that. Okay, anything on this crank here we can use? No. Well, now we're lost. What does that mean? What does the question mark mean in my thing? There's like a flashing question mark in the bottom of the screen. And I thought it meant something else before, but now it's just still going. Oh, I just lit my lighter. How did I do that? Okay, that's cool. Gives us a whole new, like, lease on this. I still didn't find anything new. Chains and stuff. What about outside? Oh, my middle mouse button lights up the lighter. Okay, cool. One thing I'm really bad for is like, I don't like to read tutorials in games. I really kind of dislike that a lot. Um, I, I don't like being told what my buttons are because I feel like everything should be pretty intuitive.
And for the most part, this game has been pretty standard and pretty typical. You know, WASD for move, you know, we'll... Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Because I don't think there's any more parts here unless they're just, like, laying around the middle part of the ground. Okay, maybe we'll find another piece outside somewhere. Dude, it's like an old school Zippo, man. Okay, I'm totally wrong, unless... Okay, I need this in my life. Oh, they took the door handle off. I guess I can't go in there. Okay, maybe I'll have to, like, look around this place a little bit more myself. And then, uh, instead of making you guys sit here and wait with me while I try and figure it out. Oh, I found it. Never mind. There was a cog beneath here. Um, it should be possible to mount this cog wheel on a winch. Yeah, should be. Let's go. It was, like, right there. Honestly, I probably skipped a little bit of the stuff, but, like, it was, like, right there. Uh, mount the cogwheel. Okay, now we turn the handle. Looks like everything is in its place. All is that's it? left is to try to turn this handle. Well, we got the strength then. We got like four points in strength. We're a freaking monster. Did we Damn. break it? I broke it. <laughs> Damn, I broke it. Okay, well that's fine because it's probably going to trigger a cutscene. We'll probably meet that lady. That guy just warned us about meeting her. He was like, oh, you're going to... Go snoop around too much. Yo, did my lighter go out? How does that work? Does the lighter go out after a little bit? Can we shake it out? It's a zippo. It shouldn't shake out. Well, well. Oh, there we go. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. Shut what up. gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? I had no idea. Your turf. That's news to me. For a guy who has no idea, you've been doing a fair bit of poking around. My men saw you staking out the Hawkins warehouse. Yeah. Is that against the law? I'm no idiot, detective. I'll tell you how things work around here. So yeah, so far there is a lot of who comes dialogue. In and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, <laughs> I punish them. Oh. You asked for it. I just got my butt kicked, dude. Get this joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Well, yeah, she just need me right in the testicles, so. <clears throat> That's a gonna hurt. I'm yeah, there's a lot jokes. of, like, dialogue options going on here. see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm gonna have to deal with her. Get beat up by a girl. Ugh. How can I ever live my macho life ever again? Okay, get inside the warehouse. So how are we going to do this now? We're going to have to be smart. I guess they got the... Nope, never mind. So yeah, last episode we just come across this whale who is beached up on the shore here. And, uh... Yeah, it's all wrecked up, dude. And the guy's like, oh, what kind of animal could have done this? So obviously we know it's... Probably like the Cthulian god, Cthulhu, or some kind of Lovecraftian creature. Okay, don't climb up there. Probably would be too convenient just for us to get through there. <laughs> Let's see what's on the rest of the dock here. Let's go for an adventure. Hmm. Nobody minds them just picking locks out here. The police are right around the, like literally right there. there. Oh, another thing that was really interesting to you about this game was that there was a uh, different... Hello, old friend. <laughs> oh, hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, one of the things I, I really liked about this was that there's a notion of, like, your actions will, like, affect your gameplay as you continue through. So, like, at the start of the game, I had the option and I took a drink of whiskey or whatever was on my desk. And, uh... Saint Brendan the Navigator. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, so I was able to like have a drink and it's like this will affect your gameplay later. So that was pretty cool. I don't know how it affected it. I don't know, you know, to what extent, but it did affect it somehow. And I think that's really interesting in a game. Like that's where I need to go, is like right there, isn't it? He said right across the jetty. And this is across the jetty, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, well, let's, I guess we'll have to talk. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We what? saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and what? ridicule our protectors. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our <laughs> beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, <laughs> it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. Oh my god, these what guys are so water? tipped. Uh, I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. <laughs> okay. These guys are pretty thick in the paint there. Okay, we got this dude up here we haven't talked to. Where do you think you're that? going? I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. I don't Sorry. care who We're you are. We're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all Darn that it. stuff again? Gosh, guys. My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. Mm hmm. What more can you say about okay, the death? Okay, I'm gonna start like skipping more than through whatever. this stuff. They were all burnt to death, right? The whole mansion went up. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas. And the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable. Especially if a stranger starts poking Silas, around the property. Silas, okay. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do you... Okay. Well, the cop completely ignored the fact that I needed to get in this warehouse. And he said one of these guys is always walking towards the statue. Come on, you could tell me. Who's this guy? No idea. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. Yeesh. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. Now we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting This is going to be complicated. No, it's not. Fuck you off. <laughs> what happened to the statue of St. Brendan? Dreadful. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who savages. do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? <laughs> Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody <laughs> knows us on dark water. Yeah, well, I'm I've new just here. arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Her property. Remind what me you what you're doing exactly? here? Listen, bonehead, we already told you to... Okay, so we're done here. I bid you... I bid you adieu. Farewell. Mm -hmm. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Okay. 
Well, we knew that. We knew who they were. So we're gonna go like threaten them again. Do we use that information against them? Yo, what up? What's with you, wandering? We saw all diet. I've got to get inside. It's your, your boss, boss who sent, sent me. me. Oh yeah. <laughs> and why didn't she? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this you guy here has no been drinking. Your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. Well, snitches get stitches. What's with you? What? We so die. I bid you. J I bid you. A f a f if I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. Because we don't have the eloquence to pass. That's fine. So yeah, this is like one of these like interesting things about this game where we uh, we get to see different methods. I guess we're going to use to get through different parts we're of the no game. We're no longer here. at home on our own island. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. The fuck are you talking about? That flunky. That he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. If you continue like that, everyone will see what you've got in your belly. Well, I hope so. I hope they don't forget the lesson. Me? I'm not scared. Oh, they're so talking about cat. I mean, they're going to cut you open. Okay, now she was in the restaurant here earlier, the bar. What? Another break. Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got- Yeah. Aching guts. <laughs> <laughs> I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. So understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry- Tell me, what brings you to- Okay. Uh, we'll just tell I'm the truth. I'm the a truth teller. I like to be truthful. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so openly but it's also really stupid of you let me give you a little advice if you want to survive more than a day okay we're just like i said i'm just gonna like start skipping through dialogue i'm like really eager to play the game um i need to get into the hall you're out of luck it's it's precisely for that reason that i've come to see you are you pulling my leg uh no not at all think it over i've seen what you're capable of and you didn't miss me I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But Good. I'll go with you to make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you, you'll be indebted to me. And I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Until we sail away from the it. island and then we never I ever come you. back. But. Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. <laughs> okay, how lovely. And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. Yeah, that pig-headed Bradley? Stupid Bradley. Even that guy knows what's good for him. Oh my god, she walks so slow. Let's go, lady, let's go! Oh, the door is open now. Hey, what's up? We saw this guy poking around here. It's fine. He's with me. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's go, lady. She says, I know you gotta walk slow to keep up appearances and stuff, but... Okay, what's in here? Nothing for us. While she's like slowly catching up to where she needs to go, I guess I'll just like quickly check the corners here. Be a gentleman and move that for me. <sighs> Yo, lady, I ain't much of a gentle a gentleman. I ain't much of a gentle lady. <laughs> oh man. 
Okay, let's go. I lock my That's own helpful. door. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done <laughs> enough mothering for now. I lock my own house with a lock that I don't have the key to, so I have to pick the lock. Oh, this place stinks. Okay, we can actually what is close the connection the door behind between us? this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Okay, lots of creepy tools. Whoa, what is going on here? To enter a reconstruction scene, hold two buttons at the same time. Oh, that's cool. What the hell is this? Can't sleep. I know how that feels. These painkillers were prescribed three months ago. Some it smells as bad as it looks. I don't get it. We did the reconstruction thing. Le petit Paris. Ah, Parisian. Yeah, weird that it's like all like cold and shit. What happened here? Well, he obviously wasn't happy about something. Also, lots of bandages and some blood. Cool. Okay, what's this? Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Don't act like that's super weird, man. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? I think it is. Yo, man. These people like crazy over this stuff. Okay, we've done a couple things. Let's see what else we can do here. Oh, okay, so we can actually leave the same thing by... New clue memorized. But I don't get what the point, I don't get what the difference was to go in like that. As opposed to this, it's the same stuff, right? Same sleeping pills, same medicine, same pictures, same guts on the floor, same picture, same, you know, it's all the same stuff. So new clue memorized. Dude, this is absolutely disgusting. What the hell? So now what do I do? I gotta go talk to uh someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? Yo, don't move! Detective Pierce. Yeah, I, I told, told you, you to need... stay away from this warehouse. You didn't say why. You sent your man away. Bad idea. <laughs> I see only one. Overweight police officer and one veteran. <laughs> How dare you? I am a representative of the law. <laughs> Relax. Look what I found. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This <laughs> Threatening the cops. <laughs> Wait, I know it. I don't know if that it worked was in or the not. Hawkins but... mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Hmm. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's what? parked down the way. I'm an investigator, so Andrews, let me do the investigating. Would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. I actually literally told him I wanted in there, too. God damn it. Her again. What's up, friend? This case How you has doing, nothing baby girl? to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you finally grown a pair. <laughs> too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on. 
Keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion? <laughs> I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed. But we'll meet again. What is she mad about? I just is need to go far? to the, the mansion. mansion. I'm not hindering her shit. Look behind you. At the top of the ridge. You see the building? Oh wow, there is That's a building right there. Mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Huh? Wow. Okay. Yo, we hit chapter three, baby. Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place, though thought to be abandoned, revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupation, as well as partly charred painting. Interrupted in his searching by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join the investigation. Police officer is willing to drive to the detective to the Hawkins mad Mansion. Enter madness. Speaking of a smile, look at... He's got like that Chelsea smile on his face. He's got a big wide grin. Okay, this must be Silas that we're going to introduce ourselves to. Now I feel bad for the cop. Everyone was well. Here we are, Hawkins Mansion. Yeah, why would you ever live here? I mean, obviously it's decrepit now, but. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Boo, 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 boo. Mm. Your partner Andrews warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for <laughs> advice. <laughs> he talks too much. He inferred that old Silas would. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. You know. Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family, so he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Uh, or do you want to go up there? kind of want to not go up there by myself. <laughs> I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards... Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's... Oh, he's, he's a been remarkable, a little touched. sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A true a force sad of old man nature. doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? So he is telling me to be cautious of it. You're him. the one who looked after... Don't think I was trying to hide it. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the... Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement <laughs> error, anything else? Uh, okay, let's not waste any time. Let's go. I'll go. Why not? Right. Let's yeah, go. I'll let this guy take the Silas out. What the heck was that? Oh, their leaves hitting the ground. I kind of want to go up that way, but I guess... Oh, you can't go that way anyways. There's like a cemetery. Is there like an on-site cemetery here? Okay, let's get the lighter out. Does literally nothing in the open field. There's also nothing down here. Go we'll catch up with uh, the officer. Yo, Officer Bradley! Oh, man, I lost... Okay, there he is. Because I would have went up there looking for Bradley. I wonder what the difference would be if we left without him. Okay. I've played enough horror games in my time, man. It's not a good sign. Oh, these are the graves. Poor kid. Savage, man. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. 
Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was just... Strange idea. Hmm. I imagine... Mrs. Hawkins' father? Let's go to... All right, Please so... Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins. The old caretaker. The caretaker. Okay, we know that. Okay, let's go, partner. Can't leave without you. Okay, so let's go up this way here. Okay, well, there's no point in him coming with me, I guess. It just seems like even afterwards, like... Who the hell would have wanted to live here, man? Like, yeah, it's a big place, but it's on a freaking island in the middle of nowhere. This entrance is still in use. Oh, we can... I guess the other one is locked? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, take it You're easy, brother. Mr. Winchester, lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Don't make me kick your ass, boy. Give me that. All right, I'll show you how we do it out on the fucking mainland. Control yourself, old man. You've got guts, you little bastard. <clears throat> you and I have got some talking to do. Understood. We got that strength check I'm in listening. there. Now he earns some report. Estab we T-posed? Established dominance? But Stephen Webster has several now he's reasons done to believe that this may not be the case. <laughs> Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. No, okay. I can't let you in. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I... You still want to fight? You're no match for me, Winchester. Stop. Hmm. You win, you crook. Take this damn key before I change my mind. Before you change your mind? Go on, then. Just Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Okay, I didn't even fight with him. I didn't even learn much from him, so we just went in brute force mode entirely. Pierce, shall we enter? Now that you finish your fun and games with Silas. You're right. Oh, my fun and games. You're right. My bad. I'm sure there's also a method to like lock pick it too. I'm with you. Let's go. Uh, Pearson Officer Bradley explored the gardens of the Hawkins Mansion. The family lies in the graveyard of the property, guarded by Silas Winchester, the old caretaker, still faithful to his employers. It keeps watching the place, armed with his axe. Isn't axe spelled with an e at the end? Pierce and Bradley managed to calm his uh, calm him down. <laughs> yeah, I threatened to kick his ass finally get a hold of the key to the hawkins mansion they enter the building looking for the scene of the fire follow me i know the place now, this who is flowers this everywhere on? man who left the light on i don't know is there electricity in the house because there's lights on all over the place the last supper of the hawkins <laughs> what does this tell me Oh my god, what the fuck is that? What is that creature on the table, man? That's not normal. Is it pig or something? No, dude, it's like cthulhu and What kind of meat is this? Yeah. Yeah, that's weird, man. That's not normal. This place is for the head of the family. Charles Hawkins. It's me, I'm the head of the family. Okay, Coolio. We have Charles. Dude, that meat is... 
gnarly looking dude. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> uh, okay. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Uh, if you fed me that, I would do the same, man. Okay, nothing else for us to investigate here. There's three pieces. It also seems when you do these, like, reconstructions, that's, uh... Also, like, there's... It's highlighted. You can see, like, there's color to this. There's color to that. There's color to him. And there's color to the table here. Um... It feels like I'm, it looks like I'm missing something though. Because I can't exit the reconstruction yet. Find the fire scene. This is the fire scene, isn't it? Oh. Sarah that Hawkins wasn't there before. Eat. Was it because of the meat or something else? Something happened at this table. An argument? Yeah, there we go. Okay, interesting. I, I just don't understand the difference. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Dude, I just... What does that mean, man? It's all spoiled now, but... Huh. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually, honestly. Okay, can't go that way. Silas managed to bring the fire under control. But it was already Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Yeah, maybe. Well, when you have lots of money, I guess that's what you do, man. For the Hawkins. Too much rubble. I'll find an easier way. Okay, let's go this let's way. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. Yeah, but like I said, what is the point? Like, what is the difference? I guess it just gives us like an earlier version of the scene because it's like less, there's less spider webs. Did it stop at the time of the fire? Mm, would a clock stop? I guess it probably would, right? Oh, that's a yeah. The that's a body burn on left the floor. a trace. Where are the others? Yeesh, it's dark. Yeah, there's the missing if the portrait. painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Okay, also really interesting to see that there's like tentacles on him and stuff. Was too. Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Uh, yeah, we know that because he had a sixty-eight dollar tab at the bar. So yeah, we know he was. They had a fight. Why? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? It was obviously when he laid her out, I guess. Okay, but there's still more. Like, I suppose, if anything, the reconstruction mode is interesting because it's, uh... It doesn't Someone let you leave the reconstruction the mode. Until you've found everything. So now that we've found everything, we can leave the reconstruction mode. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Yeah, but she did throw it at him, so she's still technically the cause of the fire. Someone fell here. Probably the dude. A desperate attempt to flee. Yeah, I'm gonna see that's I'm gonna assume that's the husband. I'm assuming they got into it he was all drunked up. Huh. Oh, the toy soldier from the kid. He was all drunked up drunked up. She came oh, in, they boy. were fighting, he hit her, she picked up the lamp and threw it at him. So, detective, what do you make of it? It's official. The police screwed it up. <laughs> I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. 
<laughs> What's your theory? Uh, I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. Well, let's be sure. What's behind the door? I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Yeah, that's okay. I won't mess too much up, man. I won't mess too much up, but we'll mess just enough up. This door is locked. Very astute observation. There. This door is locked. I thought I leveled up my strength so I could like bust doors down and shit. Ooh, we get more medicine book. I bet you we do. Yeah, we got another two percent for free, man. That's great. How many we have? How many points do we have? Seven CP available. Dang, dude. We can max out our strength trait, which would probably be be pretty good. I also wanted to do like the occult one. Oh, so we can't actually do that. Okay, it's interesting. Oh, I also didn't. I didn't use my other skills that I had. Well, let's let's go master of strength for sure. So yeah, we can only level these up through finding stuff. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, well, we're now a master of strength, so we literally have all strength checks probably unlocked 100%. Ooh. These bandages are covered in dried blood. But whose? Well, it looks like the whole house didn't burn down, so it's probably the dudes. Yeah, I see a big staircase. We can go maybe upstairs. <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. Oh, and this is blocked from the stairwell. Good thing we're too weak to move that. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. Whoa, did we just lose a bunch of light? Maybe not. Okay, so that's probably Charles. Oh, there's the, there's the cop. Oof. I got all freaked out when he wasn't there, man. So that's the family. Yo, I like this study, man. When you're just so rich, you have enough you have enough space in your house, you don't use it to build a second floor. You're just like, nah, keep it open. We'll, we'll be good. Hmm. Moby Dick. Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory okay. reading for any whaler, I guess. I guess it would be. This place was falling apart long before the fire. Well, maybe. Ow, I burnt my finger. <laughs> That's so cool, too. You can only use, like, the lighter for so long. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Maybe. Now, uh, what's in the chair here? Pillows. Ooh, lightning. No thunder, though. Okay, there's just paintings after paintings after paintings. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. Well, we're still living in the 14th century, all right? Uh, okay, let's see what else we can find here. The human body and comparative analysis. <laughs> the simplicity of his writing and the vulgarization of his vocabulary <laughs> make it accessible to the profane. 
Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, we do have like fluctuations in light, but it's just naturally occurring. Yeah, I wish, dude, like just to have a library like this would be awesome. I would be able to the read book it. book on hunting whales. The island's staple diet last century. Oh, gross. There's something disturbing about this painting. Hmm. Really? I mean, it looks like something's kind of blowing up, I guess. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another under story the seas, about the mysteries actually. of the deep. At 20,000 leagues under the sea, wasn't that about the giant kraken? But the but the submarine that went under the sea and then it got swallowed up by the big freaking thing. A book on hunting okay, whales. Have that. The island's staple diet last century. Oh, Dark water that? history. Oh. This place was settled back in 1692 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. Okay, so the 19... What did you say? They, what, what, what was that quip there? I just wanted to... Dark water history. 1692, and they were here in the this 14th century. So it was like almost 200 years before dark water was founded. By two families that seceded from the New England colonies. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Dear sir, as you know, I have always held your family in high regard. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes from the behavior of your wife. Last week, she, again, terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. Her alone... He alone seems to be able to make her come to her senses. If the disturbances were to reoccur, I believe that... Believe me that, although it would feel like torture, I'd be obliged to involve the police. Anton Wellard. I like to try and read the handwriting, uh, just because, I don't know, feels more proper to me. Okay, we got way more locked, locked. doors. Empty canvas. Open door. Oh, this is the, the kids' boys room. room. Yo, look at that cool ship, dude. Ooh, shush. Let's go back into reconstructive mode. Okay, so. Oh, even the kid has been drawing monsters. I can't interact with them though, so I don't know. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? I don't think you have to equate a kid building a fort to it being a he was protecting himself from Tom something Sawyer. In the world. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Yeah, that's so cool. Sleeping hmm. pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. What was wrong with this family? That's crazy. Just doping your kid up at night. What nightmarish Mommy vision needs a good could have inspired sleep. them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Yeah, I. Oh man. I kind of really feel bad for the kid now. So now that we've inspect investigated through reconstruction, we don't have to worry too much, I guess. Locked. Okay, locked. Okay, and then I check this one here. Anything on the shelf? Oh, I found a key. Nice. What will her room reveal about her? Okay, so we can go in Sarah Hawkins' office. Barbiturates. 
Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. They act as a depressant of the nervous system, but once you begin, you can never live without them. Of that I know something. Weird. A barbiturate. I've heard the terminology before and never really knew what it was. Okay, we're starting to hear like more ominous sounds and I guess we could just like try and equate them to like the thunder, but... This door is locked. Okay, now we could also go downstairs or we can go into the office. I think we'll check out the office here real quick. You know what? I think we're not going to check out the office because that looks pretty dope. Um, we're going to shut down for today's episode, guys. Uh, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, yo, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys are enjoying this game, let me know what you think about the game. I'm so far, I'm digging it a lot. I'm just waiting for more. I, I like now that we're able to walk a little bit more freely. We have not seen any actual threats yet. So I am looking forward to that point of the game where it kind of gets that scary-ish, uh, that kind of, you know, that horror element starts to kick in. We're doing less atmospheric and more actual threats are engaging with us. But we'll see how it goes, right? Um, but yeah, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did enjoy this episode, definitely encourage you guys to leave me a like on the video. Leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know what you thought about the video today. I'm always looking forward for new horror games as well. So if you guys have more on your docket, always looking forward to see that. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely encourage you guys to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification. Stay in touch with daily uploads here on on uh, on this channel as well as if you guys didn't know i'll also live stream on twitch.tv slash oshikurosu five nights a week sunday through thursday i would absolutely love to see you guys hang it's a really cool place really good community We've got a lot of good people there i think you would like it that's it for today guys yo thank you so much for watching have a great day and i will see you next time bye guys bye.